Computer, begin recording. I did not understand that command. Please, try again. Remember to speak slowly and clearly. Computer, begin recording. I said begin recording, goddammit. Begin recording. Begin recording! Are you malfunctioning because of the crash? Why am I even asking? You're a point two model. A hoverboard has more sophisticated AI than you do. Leave it to Omnicore to cheap out on the escape shuttles. Recording. Oh, sure. Now you start. Fine. <clears throat> Commander Rowan March reporting. Assigned to the CS Division, Omnicorporation, Headquarters Earth. First Officer's Log. Stardate? Unknown. The escape shuttle chronometer is malfunctioning. Everything else in this hunk of junk. I was knocked unconscious by the impact of the shuttle crash. I'm unsure how long I was out. The medical scanner is down, and I'm not exactly a medic, but given the size of the knot on my head, I'm gonna guess my brain is pretty rattled. I repaired a few superficial injuries with the dermal knitter upon waking, but there's no telling how much blood I lost before then. I'm woozy, so probably quite a bit. The computer is running a series of calculations to determine the date, my current location, and whether the planet's surface is hostile to human life. Unfortunately, its computational power leaves much to be desired. The results could take days at this rate, if I have days. My ship, the CS Galatea, was ambushed and commandeered by a boarding party of Mantanoid raiders. I have reason to suspect they had an inside man in my crew, but I don't suppose that matters much now. Either way, Omnicorp will write off the loss for a big fat tax break. Safe to say the Galatea has been stripped of everything that wasn't nailed down and scuttled by now. The Mantanoids are like locusts. It's a damn shame. For an antique, she was a pretty good little freighter. I'll miss her retro charm. Captain Axford went down with the ship as his contract with Omnicorn demanded. A personal note, he was a good man. Not a very good captain, but a good man. End personal note, redact and encrypt. My condolences to Captain Axford's family back on Renoria 7. I understand he leaves 57 widows and hundreds of children. Needless to say, most of the Galatea's shipment was lost. However, the contents of Freight Bay 4 were split between escape shuttles. Luckily, Mantanoid pirates have little interest in organic cargo or starting a war with the Terran Alliance. Our surviving crew was allowed to disembark without incident. 19 crewmen survived the initial assault out of a complement of 32, myself included. Our remaining numbers were split into eight shuttles and launched into space. The escape shuttle Icarus launched from the Galatea with four souls aboard Hoffman, Kelly, Petrov, and myself. The Icarus immediately suffered a series of malfunctions. The end result is the Icarus crashed, <laughs> fittingly enough. I am the only remaining survivor. Well, if you don't count the cargo. Ugh. Come on, come on. <sighs> I may not be the only survivor for long if systems continue to shut down. Life support is stable for now, but who knows how long that'll last. The organic recycler, it's still functional. It's working as gruesome magic on my deceased crewmates. It's funny. Ensign Kelly always said he wanted to treat me to a traditional Irish dinner. He'll finally get his wish. Though not quite the way he intended. Waste not, want not, as Omnicore says. I... Personal note. I'm in pretty rough shape. The cockpit is starting to get a little swimmy. I'm joking about eating my crewmates. That's gotta be the, the head injury talking. Christ. I should have stayed on Earth, gotten into sanitation engineering like my parents or something. But oh no, steady union job wasn't good enough for me. Just had to go into space, had to see the stars, had to take a shit job with the evilest company in the galaxy and become a high-tech cannibal. Might as well have signed up with Wayland Yutani or Cyberdyne. At least they would have paid top dollar for my soul. Oh, who am I kidding? They wouldn't have. No, pull it together, Ro. You still need this job. And personal note, redact and encrypt. No, erase. Erase last personal note. The, the Icarus maintenance logs indicate that 
Four previously scheduled system inspections were never performed. Hard to say if the Galatea's engineering crew was cutting corners of their own volition. It's equally likely orders came down from Omnicore's engineering division to reduce costs. It's been a few years since a freighter of Galatea's particular vintage has been attacked and stripped for parts. They may not have seen the use in making sure the escape shells were still up to snuff. A cursory glance through the logs indicates there was also supposed to be a retrofit to bring the Icarus up the code with the newest operational guidelines from Earth. By my admittedly slapdash and slightly concussed calculations, it falls far short of the computing power it needs to function properly. The software has been updated, the hardware has not. It took shutting down a few systems just to get the distress beacon to launch, and that's on top of the systems that failed. So that's where we are. Sole survivor, gotta eat my crewmates, multiple system failures, and my brain having sloshed up in my skull feels like mush. <sighs> I'm living on borrowed time. At least the materializer is still working, and its power source is self-sustaining, so I won't starve to death for a while. There's a pot of coffee with my name on it, as a matter of fact. Oh god damn it, what now? Oh Jesus. Jesus, no, 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 you can't fail. The cryo system can't fail. Come on, you stupid ice cube. You have one job, and that's to stay frozen. God damn it. Computer, what is the room temperature necessary to maintain integrity of the cargo? I did not understand that command. Oh, of course you fucking didn't. Computer, cryo chamber operating manual search cross-reference. Power failure, emergency ejection, humanoid. Environmental temperature, fatal shock. Result. Thank you. Choosing Omnicore. Oh, for fuck's sake. Computer, cars. increase cargo area temperature to 26 degrees Celsius. I did not understand that that came Fine, I'll do it myself. Blankets, 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 come on. Omnicore a wood shop, one fluid tub. Whether you yeah, subscribe to our silver or come gold on, or platinum storage. I'm an officer, you know you'll be satisfied. You're on the Omnicore cryo chamber. Okay. Okay. Hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay, I've got you. Here, let me wrap you up here. Shh, 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 I know, I know, I know. Here, the cryo gel is pretty thick. Let me clean off your face so you can breathe. Hey, ow! Quite a grip you got there, Chief. I'm trying to help you, okay? I promise I'm not gonna hurt you. Just, just let me. Wait, you can't be, Lieutenant. Do you recognize me? Here, let me get the cryo gel out of your eyes. Yeah, hey, it's it's me. Do you remember me? Uh, Ensign Rowan March. Uh, well, Commander now. But I guess you wouldn't know that. We worked together on the SSE Relentless. We haven't seen each other in there. I, I can't... What on earth are you doing in cryostasis? Oh, har har, very funny. I know we're in space. I work there. You know, sarcasm lands better when your teeth aren't chattering. God, of all the cryo chambers in the galaxy, why the hell did you end up in mine? No, no, it's not that I'm not glad to see you. Of course I missed you. I mean, it's been nine years. It's... Oh, I wish this were under better circumstances. Fuck. Well, might as well rip the bandaid off now. Welcome back to the land of the living. I've got bad news and I've got worse news. Which one do you want first? All right, the bad news then. You've been prematurely ejected from stasis, as I'm sure you've noticed. And that's gonna be rough for a while. Here. Let me get you some coffee. You'll need to warm up. Hey, sip it slow, okay? I don't want you going into shock. So, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but now for the worst news. You, you're in an escape shuttle right now. Currently crash landed on an uncharted planet. At least, I think it's uncharted. The navigation systems are on the fritz, so I don't know for sure. And the shuttle is rapidly losing power, by the way. If we're lucky, we've got maybe a month's worth. If we're unlucky, a week, maybe. What's the good news? What are you talking about? There is no good news. The good news is we're together. Mm. Nice try, Sleeping Beauty, but that's not gonna work. You can put that cheesy old line back in the mothballs where it belongs. That shit didn't work on me over three bottles of Alnornian wine. It's not gonna work now. Oh, come on. Don't give me that look, Lieutenant. Your charm's not going to get us out of this one as much as I wish it could. Besides, you're not thinking straight. 
Even if I was interested, I'm not going to put moves on a recovering popsicle whose higher brain functions haven't thawed yet. Never mind my own concussion. Ah, hey! Yeah, I've got a head injury. What about it? Well, if you're worried about it, don't poke it. God, you haven't changed one bit. You can fix it. Since when? Are you sure? Ah! Oh. Alright. Here, then. A med kit. I don't know how much help it'll be, but... <clears throat> careful. That hurts. Don't apologize. Just be more careful. Oh, you mean you're sorry about all this? <laughs> don't be silly. You don't have to be sorry. It's not your fault the damn cryo chamber went on the fritz. It's not your fault the shuttle crashed or my ship got raided. You're as much a victim here as I am. Keep your sorries. Planetoid surface scan complete. Oh, shit. Do you want the results? I thought that would take a few hours. Yes, please. I did not understand that command. Oh, for... F I don't suppose you know anything about fixing a two-point model's vocal recognition program, do you? Yeah, I was afraid of that. Computer, what are the results of the planetary scan? Atmosphere. Oxygen rich. Environment. Temperate. Plant species. Estimated 10% non-toxic to human life. Inhabitants. Tier 4 life forms. Tier 4. Tier 4. That's, um, no technological sophistication detected. Correct. Okay. Well, that's not nothing, but just because whatever's out there doesn't have tools doesn't mean that it can't kill us, right? Venomous space bugs, alien jaguars, whatever. And no technological sophistication means no villages to trade with or ruins to loot for supplies. Computer. Closest Earth biome approximation in your database to immediate area around the shuttle. Subtropical rainforest. Water? I did not understand that command. Is there water? Shuttle water reserves are... On the planet's surface. Computer. Is there portable water on the planet's surface? Affirmative. <laughs> I can't believe it. Finally, a stroke of luck. Water, oxygen, edible plant life. We might not die here after all. Or, I mean, if we do, at least it won't be right away. So long as the materializer doesn't break down, we could stay pretty comfortable here. We might even be able to synthesize the materials to repair the shuttle if we can recycle enough matter from the planet's surface. It might take a few months, but... Well, let's hope someone picks up on the distress beacon before then, huh? I should call you my good luck charm, Lieutenant. I know your day is going terribly, but things were looking pretty dire here before you woke up and scared the bejesus out of me. Hey, listen, let me get you a uniform. That stasis suit can't be comfortable, right? Being all damp and clingy like that? I was not looking. I wasn't. Get your mind out of the gutter, please. Here, just put that on. Yes, the top two. I know it's a jungle out there, but none of that you, Tarzan, me, Jane business, okay? Here, I'll turn around and give you some privacy. Uh, so, you never did tell me what you were doing in stasis. Last I heard, you were working your way up the ranks on the USS Albatross. Well, yeah, I looked you up sometimes. Out of curiosity, I like to check up on my former crewmates on occasion. Especially the ones who owe me credits. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. 437 credits and 46 bits. My farewell poker game? Before I transferred back to Earth? You wrote me an IOU. On paper, no less. Like some kind of Luddite. I still have it somewhere. Or I did, anyway. Oh, shut up. I'm not sentimental. You've got a case of wishful thinking. You know, back when we worked together, I never did understand why you set your cap at me. What with so many other ensigns falling into your lap. Oh, uh-huh. Mm, sure. They weren't as pretty as me. You were so full of crap. You just liked that I played hard to get. 
No, you're right. Impossible to get. <laughs> I mean, how else was I supposed to keep you interested long enough to pick your pockets at poker, huh? No. Don't let the whole being marooned together on a planet thing go to your head, buddy. I'm pretty sure we've had this conversation before. As I recall, we decided it couldn't work between us. Remember? It was a mutual decision. Mm, you wanted to settle down, climb the ranks on one ship, and I wanted to travel the stars, getting into all sorts of <laughs> mischief. So, you ever going to answer the question about cryostasis? If you think you can distract me with compliments, it won't work. I've heard all your lines before. Now spill it. Yeah, I know where the pods are going. The colony is on the outer rim. Don't tell me you're giving up the glamour of space travel for farm labor. What, Agarix? But the only thing on Agarix is a penal colony. What, you're gonna be a warden? I mean, I guess I wouldn't blame you. I hear the pay is pretty good. It'd have to be to get anyone to keep an eye on the worst scum in the sector out in the middle of nowhere, right? Oh my god. Listen, I know you always bent the rules, but prison? What did you do? It doesn't matter? Like hell it doesn't. For all I know, you blew up a planet or something. I mean, I'd like to think you wouldn't, and I'd like to think that Omnicore wouldn't put a genocidal maniac on ice in their cheapest transport without a security detail, but you and I both know it can't be ruled out. So tell me what you did. For that, you're sentenced to the Outer Rim. Nobody gets sentenced to the Outer Rim for crimes like that. For how long? I gotta sit down. Look, if this is true, if, if you're not just yanking my chain, and I hope you are just yanking my chain, who did you piss off? Sending you to the Outer Rim for something that wouldn't even get you 10 years on Earth? That's disproportionate retribution if I've ever heard of it. It's got the stink of judicial corruption written all over. An unidentified vessel has entered the planet's atmosphere. Communication relay is being hailed. What? A vessel? That doesn't make any sense. The distress beacon hasn't even been out there for an hour. Nobody could have gotten here in such a short amount of time, not even with a hyperdrive. Your ride is here? What the hell do you mean your ride is here? Oh my god, the Mantanoid Raiders. They were working for you, weren't they? You, you had the inside man on Galatea. That's why they let us leave with the cargo, you. This is a jailbreak, isn't it? Or a, a prison transport break, I guess. And now I'm an accomplice. Oh, you didn't know it'd be my freighter you'd be transported on. Well, that's really cold comfort, buddy. My ship and her captain are lost. More than a dozen of my crewmates are dead, and now you're going to leave me stranded alone on an uncharted world. Come with you? <laughs> are you crazy? What are you suggesting? I go on the run with a fugitive? Come on, be real. I can't do that. I have a life out there. It's not a very good one, but it's mine. And it doesn't have intergalactic authorities breathing down my neck. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'll never get back to my life if I die on this rock, sure, but... <sighs> Better on the run than sitting still waiting for rescue that might never come. Fine, I guess you have a point there, but... Don't give me that. Don't. No. Don't give me the dimples and the twinkle in the eye. I'm still mad at you. I could have been killed. Some of my friends were. Oh, co-workers anyway. I didn't really like them much. And while that part's technically Omnicore's fault for skimping on shuttle maintenance, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't orchestrated this crazy scheme. But... <sighs> Fine. Fine. I'll come with you, because I've lost my mind. But don't start getting ideas that I'll settle into being a gun mole or whatever. You can drop me off at the nearest refueling station. I'm not going to rat you out, but I'm not going to help you either. Oh, that's your ride, huh? Some ride. Looks like it's seen better days. No. There's nothing I need to take with me. But, hold on. God, I can't believe I'm doing this. Helping cover your goddamn tracks like some kind of... Computer. End log. Erase. 
commence shutdown. Icarus is back online. Computer, end log. Erase. Commence shutdown. I did not understand that command. Please, try again. Remember to speak slowly and clearly 